Hello, I'm Daniel Mathewson. In my one-on-one -on -one interview with Michael Wilbon, I talked to him about how he started in journalism, the problem with the Nationals, the Redskins, and the hype surrounding Maryland's men's basketball team. I worked for what I thought was the greatest newspaper in the world. And, and certainly, look, in this country in that period, there was great newspapers. I caught the, Latin, the end of the great newspaper era. Uh, the New York Times, uh, I grew up reading the Chicago Tribune, the Washington Post, and I worked for Don Graham and Mrs. Graham and, some of the, and Ben Bradley and the great, greatest editors in newspapering history. Uh, so I learned everything. It taught me everything I know about the news business is being in that building every day from the time I was 21 years old uh, until the time I was 51. Um, and it taught, you know, I learned how to be a professional journalist. Mm -hmm. I was in training before that, but I learned how to cover anything, write about anything, and do it hopefully at the highest level that the Post expected of me. Was journalism what you wanted to be, a journalist? All I wanted to be. And for sports? Journalists first. Okay. Sports is very secondary. Everybody has that backwards now. They want to try to specialize in something. I could, I, I covered plane crashes. I, I wrote about all kinds of things. Um, you're a journalist first, mm -hmm. and there are too many people now who are wanting to. They see sports journalism. They just want to say, I want to go into sports. Going into sports is not going into journalism. Journalism means you are a storyteller, mm -hmm. primarily. You can tell any story, and this, 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 this very specialized thing. And I. I I acknowledge it, I'm involved in it, teaching it at Northwestern. And their specialization is part of the culture we live in, but too much of it is dangerous. People need to understand to be a journalist first and foremost. You know, they're gonna have a good team, but they're playing in a tough conference mm -hmm. uh, where they have to travel further. It's not like just hopping on a bus going to Charlottesville or you know, a quick trip to Wake Forest or Chapel Hill or Durant. And it, you know, you, you're going to Minnesota and Chicago and, and Iowa City, and you, you, you got a, a big travel schedule and a conference which you're unfamiliar with, a conference full of people who say, wait a minute, who, who are they? We're not letting them win. Right. Um, so, no, I don't, I don't buy in the hype. What people hear too often don't understand as they trumpet the Nationals year after year as the 1927 Yankees, is that there's a better team out there. The Cardinals are better. It's been a better organization for a longer period of time. They've been at this. They've been doing this successfully. The, the Cardinals have more pennants in the National League than any other team. So the Nationals are not a favorite. And the notion that they are is foolish. Um, people just need to take a look at the Cardinals. Best record in baseball. Every time they lose someone, they replace that person with someone who can get the job done just as well. Right. Even if it's for a short period of time while they hold the fort, while that veteran player comes back, don't know what's going to happen with Wayne Wright, whether he's mm -hmm. going to pitch at all. They don't care. They lose Albert Pujols, they don't care. So the Nationals' biggest problem is they're not the best team out there. Do they have a starting quarterback who can get you eight or nine wins and maybe get you to a playoffs? We have no idea. None. We don't even know what kind of defense they're going to have. Everybody presumes the defense is going to be better. Mm -hmm. Okay. Shouldn't be, it can't possibly be worse. But the Redskins have been crap for 15 years. So why does anybody think, oh, this time, every year this, this fan base starts off in June and says, it's going to be different this year. Really? Why? This has been One on One. I'd like to thank my guest, Michael Wilbon. I'm Daniel Mathewson. Thank you for watching.